Hi, welcome to Model Week. This week we're talking about radiator guards. When my brother and I go off-roading, typically what we'll do is we'll take our bikes and we'll load them up in our truck. In one of the early times that I had gone off-roading, I dropped the bike off of the ramp onto its side. The plastic that covers up the side of the bike right here where the radiator goes fixes into the radiator and uses that as a brace in the front rather than fixing back into the frame. So what happened is that this left side radiator got all mashed right here. Of course it didn't break the radiator, but it did bend it in a way that is really irreparable. If I had hit harder, maybe it would have punctured one of these seals and then that's a very expensive break. One thing that people will do, they'll get radiator braces. Typically just a radiator brace would be completely open in the center here. All it does is it makes it so the radiator shroud no longer attaches to the radiator and uses that as a brace. It uses this piece of metal instead. The other component is having these guards. Front wheel has a chance of kicking up rocks. The OEM radiator guard, milk jug plastic that goes off in angles, wouldn't necessarily be able to block very strong impacts if you're going very fast. Eventually you might puncture a hole in your radiator. It's usually they don't come together, but Emperor Racing makes a unit that does both simultaneously, and it is designed towards this specific model, whereas most radiator braces are designed as kind of a generic thing. So here is the final presentation of my radiator braces. They are a bit dirty. I do really like the look of them, especially against the older models, black radiators. Very nice look, very much covers up the radiator. You can see that it mounts directly into the shroud or replaces the bolt that would normally be right here. They do take a bit of work to get the radiators on because you have to move the ground cable that would go on the radiator, but they do fit nice. Very solid units. They do prevent any shifting, any potential damage that you might have to your radiator and make it very unlikely that rocks will go and bend up the radiator fins and reduce your cooling capacity. This spacer holds the radiator, so if you were to get an impact from the front, then it would prevent any potential bending of the radiator inward, and especially from the sides. One thing to keep in mind, they shift out the shrouds just a bit, and with my bike with the tank and everything, it makes the shrouds further out than they would be. It just moves it out just a little bit, you can see about an inch from that location, and a little bit, maybe a quarter of an inch there. Thanks for watching, this has been Mod of the Week.